Hello everyone, my name is Ian Doherty, I'm a Spilicious Medium and in this video excerpt I'm going to talk briefly as I can about the auric field. Now I must stress ladies and gentlemen, these are my own opinions which I've come to understand what it is for me myself over the past 15 years reading books, communicating with spirit and talking to like-minded people. From my point of view, the aura that we have come to understand today has been largely cannibalised from Hinduism and Buddhism to more aptly fit into the Western culture. When we look at the energy field, I personally view this as an electromagnetic field governed by the functionality of the brain. Now, when we look at the brain, ladies and gentlemen, an interesting body fact that you can find on the, on the internet and have a look at many others, um, during a given 24 hour period there is enough electrical stimulus um, originated from by the brain that is equal to and surmountable to every single telephone in the world going off at the same time. That is an immense amount of electrical force and gives rise to an energy field which continuously radiates from us. Even when we're in sleep um, the brain doesn't stop working, still radiates energy. I don't believe an association, therefore, of being several layers of the aura, one layer for each of the chakras, of which we will come across in this moment in time. I do feel electrical and, mag and magnetic properties, being that from the physical body itself, in a holistic approach. When we think about the mind, body and spirit, for myself it is one closed internal package. What we do, therefore, to the physical body must have an effect into the auric field. I don't feel, however, we can directly affect the auric field itself. I don't feel it can be cleaned or been washed or anything like, anything like such as some people have claimed to be able to do. However, it can be affected if we take um, a lot of drugs, if we overdose on uh, the alcohol uh, limit, all of this type of thing. If we smoke a lot, it has an instance that comes into the auric field and can, over a time, be detrimental not only to the physical body but out into the, out, uh, into the uh, auric field. This can, of course, cause some impedance to the development in a psychic, mediumistic way and certainly communicating with the spirit side of life. If we therefore understand that the brain is very much functional in the radiating of that energy field, if we come tired, then the energy just very, very much comes down. I've done many aura photographs. Um, I've looked at the aura, see it very, very clearly. You can always tell when somebody is tired, when the energy levels not only feel um, less, but they actually display as being a lot smaller. When we're exuberant, we're happy, we're, oh, we're full of love, it's great, then the aura it does, it does, it does excel. It does come out, radiates away from the, your body in a, in a very real way. Yeah? When I say a very real way, you can feel that energy, you can feel the actual exuberance of a person. You know, full of life is a very good saying. And again, it is displayed into the auric field. Somebody who is very logically minded, or indeed very, very strong minded, can have the effect with a sensitive person in almost being like a brick wall. You know, you just boom. Yeah. Hence why some people are find some mediums or psychics find it difficult to read certain people who generate a very, very forceful mind and therefore um, uh, do not allow for a more permeable auric field. Now then, when we think about the brain again, folks, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves that exit the brain, come into the, into the um, spinal column, coupled with the 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Now, the spinal nerves exit out of the spine and come around into, to serve the various uh, organs of the physical body. And funny enough, they are in line with what we understand today as the chakras. The chakra being a Hindu word um, for, um, or a Sanskrit word for wheel. And we can understand that there is a, a, a vortex, an energy field, which is created by these chakras. However, when you think about it logically, and bearing in mind what was stated about the uh, immense electrical output which is given to, uh, by the brain in a given 24-hour period, when we look at a chakra, 
I think it's better to have a look at it as being a nerve plexus. Basically a network of nerves, a conveyance or convergence of nerves into one place to serve the organs of that body. The cardiac nerve plexus serves the heart. The celiac nerve plexus comes in as what we understand as the solar plexus. Um, it serves organs such as the kidney, uh, the liver. Um, and again has secondary issues or offshoots the hepatic nerve for instance which is associated with the liver all these are interconnected hence why I view it as a holistic approach so then ladies and gentlemen how can the aura work for us we understand that um, meditation calms the mind Therefore, the aura becomes more permeable. We are able, therefore, to allow spirit to permeate their thoughts through the aura, because it has to come through us, because we are surrounded by it. It has to come through the auric field into the mind, and it is uh, very much disseminated in what we understand as clairvoyance, seeing, clairaudience, hearing, and clairsentience, as in feeling. Also, the auric field is used extensively in the trance condition, trance being an altered state of awareness whereby a closer union is achieved between the energies of spirit, um, the, um, in this case the spirit control, and that of the physical, of that of the person, their physical body, their medium. And therefore, it is uh, achieved whereby a person from spirit, from spirit can utilize better the functionality of the uh, mind to impart information not necessarily known by the medium themselves however friends I, I digress a little bit here I want it to be more towards the um, towards the aura okay now then when we look at the chakras seven chakras again running up alongside the spinal nerve and into the cranium itself uh, we look at the brow chakra above the eyes the throat chakra the crown chakra even what irks me a little bit in all honesty ladies and gentlemen is that there are seven chakras and funny enough there are seven colors of the rainbow and it is assigned one to seven in that way I personally would have done it different, I would have called them, you know, by letter or indeed by number. Colour does represent into the auric field, ladies and gentlemen, but I do not feel it is the propensities of the um, chakras that causes this. Um, there can be a little bit of confusion, again, with the seven layers of the aura. People talk about there being an emotional aura, um, a, um, a health aura. If we understand or can, can take on the concept we are a holistic mind, body and spirit, therefore when we look at things in an overall point of view, ladies and gentlemen, that physical body is, generates that auric field. It is utilised by everybody on a subconscious level. How many times, ladies and gentlemen, have you been shopping? you know, supermarket, and you come out of there and you feel quite vexed when you were in a good mood when you went in, you were in a bad mood when you went out. It's not necessarily being a lot of people there getting in your way or hitting you in the ankle with the uh, trolleys or the kids going around screaming because they can't have their, uh, their uh, chosen sweets. What is happening is there is such a mismatch of energies going on, people being very happy, people being very sad, people being cross or angry, people being happy. It plays it as it pulls at us. So therefore we take on a little bit of that person's personality or indeed their mood. It can mix with us a little bit. In summary, ladies and gentlemen, please bear in mind what I've, to what I've talked about. It is your, um, your choice to either agree or to disagree it's nice to talk about things in the, in this way and of course if you have any questions please don't feel uh, please don't um hesitate that's the word and i did please don't hesitate to give me a call you know uh, or uh, a um or drop me an email um,